Okay, well, the um, 390 volts uh, DC DC, um, their ZVS um, DC DC architecture design um, uh, converter. So basically, you can make a low current, uh, I think it's 300 milliamps. Um, higher voltage up to 390 volts um, power supply to charge the um, in my situation the gen 2 or gen 3 it could be the gen 4 or other hybrid batteries and I was looking at what's the most cost-effective potential method and this is of course from Aliexpress and I was like whoa I was looking at these the, the James network I think is his YouTube channel was showing these power supplies for use in some other application I forget offhand. And, and I saw it and it came to mind and I'm like, you know, I wouldn't go to 390. I'd be something like, you know, 60 to 80 SOC so that, um, you know, you don't overcharge the nickel metal hydride battery. So I, I forget offhand, I should have looked before I made this video. But, you know, something like 250 volts, 260 volts, somewhere in there. Might be a little less. Don't, don't quote me. It could be 220. But anyways, um, for the price, I was like, man, that's wild, two ninety six, and free shipping over ten dollars. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna order four of these just so I can have one to maybe modify or you know play with the modify, uh, maybe disassemble a little more so I can study the design. Um, it's open source. It looks like already. I haven't even looked around for the data sheets on this module or any of the components yet. I should say identified any components yet, um, because I'll be doing that next to uh, look for those data sheets to see what would be an equivalent or maybe better than um, still being able to, you know, say for the transistor, being able to be driven um, if maybe there's an option to use a transistor that, um, you know, a gate driver uh, circuitry would be uh, equivalent, suitable to drive a higher current um, transistor so um, yeah so these were received and I'm gonna go ahead and pause and show you how so they are received in this bag here and kind of tore up a little bit if you can see that well it's showing up on camera and with particles coming out of the bag I can zoom uh, yeah, you can see some of them in there. Well, one of the particles was only the PCB corner, <laughs> but one of the, um, I don't know if that's a diode exactly. It probably would be a diode, um, high power diode, but uh, that, that, type, that, that component. And, um, you know, with uh, some of the other components uh, not in the best condition. Like, what in the world happened there? And more so, whoops, there we go, right camera. Wow, that, that got beat up pretty bad. Not only the transformer, high like frequency transformer, but the, the leads coming off it. So, hopefully, that's uh, salvage, salvageable and suitable, uh, you know, repair, suitable to still be used, repairable. But, um, yeah, so, you know, the most damaged one, I'm going to probably, you know, assess a little more detail. And then basically I just wanted to document. They have arrived. This will be an interesting project to work with. Uh, just one as is, or maybe two um, in parallel to get a little higher current output or possibly more. Um, if that even is possible, feasible, safe, you know, safely with these. Designs and then the other considerations are low voltage, you know, cut off, um, over voltage cut off, uh, temperature cut off, um, you know, safety improvements to basically the safety of the power supply and more so the battery, so it don't damage the battery. Um, yeah, that comes at least that's what comes to mind. I probably should have prepped for this a little more, but we're gonna get these out and document. Uh, so we can see what the situation is. Um, but yeah, they came up a little, came 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 a little more beat up than I expected. The quality's, you know, not the best. But hey, for that price, what do you expect? That's an awesome price. Um, and this is going to be to see if potential 
uh, exists to use these instead of the next most cost effective option. Or at least what I was turned on to at first reading into um, using the Meanwell power supplies. Some use one, some use two. I've read in series and in parallel. Um, of course, with your, your range of discharge options, uh, incandescent light bulb or whatnot. And this version here is uh, has the with dimming. And more recently, somebody turned me on to this model, um, which is a little more, a little higher power, and actually a little better price. So almost half the price. This is without dimming, still a constant current power supply. Um, so, you know, and this is the one that I was told, at least for their Camry battery, um, they use two in series to get a little higher, uh, higher voltage output. So, you know, I actually, if I would have saw this, I probably would have ordered this power supply. I didn't see this one at first. Still, the four I received, you know, I received for 14 I bought them for $14. Technically, with, uh, we'll see, uh, with a refund. But um, it might have been for free because of the condition, and we'll see if any of them work, and then what I can do to repair them. I'll try to show that in a future video. But stay tuned. I was just looking to see, basically, uh, like I said, um, what's the most cost-effective high-voltage battery power uh, charger so that um, basically can make a charger uh, to make a first attempt at restoring a high voltage uh, in my situation gen 1 or gen 2 prius battery without having to disassemble and do any balancing uh, basically recondition of the individual module cells so that um, those individual batteries you know don't have to all be disassembled and removed uh, removed and uh, <coughs> charged and balanced and whatnot that's going to be a lot more work so if a car has been sitting for a while Possibly you can just connect one of these systems like a Prolon or Max Volts um, charger and restore the battery to um, good enough condition so that the, the car itself uh, reconditions the battery for, for longer use. Okay, that's all.